Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonkey. So today we're going to be doing a Slayer vlog of sorts because Slayer is what I have been doing lately on this account. Uh, I have gotten quite a bit of Slayer XP lately and my task today is Fungal Mages which should be fun because uh, I, as far as I've heard it's not a very long task and I believe the fairy ring code to get there is VIP. This is my first time being to the Polypore Dungeon on this account. Um, but anyway, this account stats and stuff are turning out rather nicely. Uh, if you look at my stat screen, I'm almost at 70 plus in all stats. Um, and I'm getting some levels pretty high up there. I just got 70 mage the other day, which is incredibly useful because I, ne I now can use that um, black salamander-ish thing for range, which is a very, very good weapon. Um, so I've really been enjoying that a lot. Uh, I apologize for any lag spikes. They are kind of bound to happen. Um, but anyways, I don't think I've ever actually killed Fungal Mages before, just because when they came out on my main account, uh, I was using Curadel, so I really... She doesn't assign Fungal Mages, so I've never really had them as a task before. Um, so anyway, this should be fun. I've heard they're weak to air spells. I know uh, the other Polypore creatures, the Griffalo Pines and Griffalo Roos, are actually very good XP. Um, so, oh yeah, I need to set my... Autocast, obviously, to Wind Wave. That's what I've been using. Um, and now that I do have 70 Mage, um, I can wear arms as well. I believe you need 70 Mage to wear arms. I'm not sure. You might just need 70 Defense, because I know to wear Dragon Hide, you don't need a range level. You just need Defense. Fun fact for you guys, by the way. But anyways, I believe, yeah. Um, so I got myself a pair of arms, which basically means my cash is incredibly low. I'm at 1.3 mil. Um, and I don't have a thing of value in my bank other than the armors that I use for Slayer and um, my Slayer tab, which I'm hopefully not going to sell until 99, but uh, we'll see how that works out. I'll have to figure out some way to make money. I'll probably have to start doing herb runs again. I haven't been doing them for a while. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Fungal Mages, this task isn't, you know, one of my favorite ones. I have been using Simona. Um, unfortunately, I learned that I cannot actually use Curadel until 160 combat. I always thought it was uh, 150 combat that you could use Curadel at. But uh, I was wrong, unfortunately. It is not until 160 combat. So I'm going to have to wait a while because at the moment I am at only uh, 147 combat. Um, so 160, I believe, is when I will get to 79 uh, both attack and defense. Uh, or 80 attack and 78 defense. Um, something along those lines is when I'll be able to use Curadel because I will be getting... Uh, 75 Slayer, which is a Slayer requirement for her very, very soon, just within a, another couple tasks. Slayer is very, very fast, I've found, um, even at a low level, since I am still considered a low level, um, and killing mostly creatures that don't give the greatest XP per hour, I still get very, very good XP. Um, if I get a Hellhounds task today, I'll actually show you guys how amazing that task is. It is the most AFK thing you could possibly do in your life. It is just um, so relaxing. I have loved those tasks because it means I don't have to pay attention to RS for quite some time. Basically, every time you get a Hellhounds task, um, you can pretty much just tab out and you do like one click every 10 minutes. I'll show you guys the exact location where I kill them and everything. Um, if you're not very, very high defense, you can't kill them in the Taverly Dungeon location in AFK because you're going to get absolutely owned because there's a ton of Hellhounds there and they do start to hit hard after a while. Um, I went there even with um, Barrow's armor and I still got hit pretty well. But I found a pretty cool location to kill Hellhounds that is uh, relaxing and makes the task quite enjoyable. So that's probably my favorite task, um, just because you don't have to pay any attention at all. Um, other than that, I haven't been enjoying too many of the tasks. I did get a Calphite Queen task the other day as well, um, so I got to go kill her. Uh, that was kind of fun. I did manage to solo the Calphite Queen on this account. I wasn't sure if I could do it, and I only had like a couple of sharks left after she was dead. Uh, but that's one cool thing about using Simona. You kill one Calphite Queen and you get like 15,000 Slayer XP, um, which is pretty good XP considering it takes like no time at all to kill her. Um, so that's probably one of the better tasks that you can get, and that's definitely one that I enjoyed a lot. Um, but anyway, one thing that I did want to touch on a little bit is I'm starting to lose a bit of motivation for this game. Um, not because I'm starting to get bored of RuneScape, uh, per se. It's more because just I have been uh, in the process of job searching for a very, very long time. Um, I have had some part-time employment and temporary employment on and off. Uh, at the moment, I'm not employed, uh, other than, you know, making YouTube videos. I do earn a little bit up from that. Um, but other than that, I don't, I have no source of income, really. Uh, and I have been extensively job searching, uh, spending 
time every day uh, going out and you know sending lots of those job applications for everyone that's ever applied for a job you know what that's like uh, that's what I've been in the process of doing for quite some time now uh, and it hasn't really paid off so I've been getting really frustrated because I've mostly just been sitting at home playing RuneScape when I'm not job hunting uh, and that's just not what I want to be doing I want to be out there and working and earning money um, so that's just extremely frustrating um, I guess I, I'm I am losing a little bit of drive for this game I haven't been wanting to play as badly uh, as I did in the past I have not been able to stay up at late late at all like I used to I used to pull all-nighters on this game and that hasn't even been an option um, so I guess I could say I'm losing a bit of uh, motivation to play I guess that kind of makes sense um, now that I'm trying to max my second account and I've already done all of this once before so that does make a little bit of sense and it's sad I don't think I'll be quitting RuneScape anytime soon especially because I really do enjoy making videos a lot uh, I am kind of starting to wish that when I did make videos it was more of a wide variety of games and not just this game um, because then I could lose interest in games and still you know keep a channel going pretty well um, but anyway that's about all uh, for that subject that I wanted to touch on just I don't know exactly what the future of this channel is because I know not every well hopefully no one will actually play RuneScape forever everyone gets bored at some point even the best players like Suomi get bored of RuneScape at some point point. Um, and this has happened a few times in the past where I just took a month break and then came back to it um, I really would rather not have to do that again because of having a YouTube channel that I like to uh, keep up but we'll see how it goes. Uh, if it does end up that I move out of the state, which is what I'm looking at right now, getting employed in another state and going to college, um, I don't know how well uh, playing RuneScape is going to work when I am working full time as well as going to college. I doubt I would have too much spare time other than that. Um, but I, at the moment, had just have my options very open. Um, once you've gotten to the point where you've been kind of job searching for, I would say, months, um, and you just haven't found anything, it's possibly time to make a change, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, but I talked about a lot of this stuff in the last video, so uh, at the moment, if you want to know too much about my account progress, what I'm going to be doing when I'm online is either on my main account, because I do do farm runs uh, once per day, and I as well do a dungeoneering once per day. Um, and that's about all I do on my main account, as well as ports, I forgot to mention that. Um, and on this account, when I'm online, all I do is slay because, you know, that's by far the most fun thing to do in this game. And if I am going to play this game, I want it to be something fun so I don't quit. Uh, but yeah, that's about all. Um, I'm sorry if I don't make any guides. I have been extremely busy with um, job searching lately as well as kind of planning out a possible move as well as applying and researching colleges. Uh, so if I don't have a whole lot of extra time, when I am on the computer, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not really... Uh, playing too much RuneScape or having too much time to work on videos. So anyway, thanks for understanding about that and all. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little Slayer guide and all. Uh, hopefully I can, you know, get back a little bit of my motivation to play this game and uh, continue to make videos, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. Thanks for watching and farewell.